Hi, welcome to Strickland's and Friends. We're the Stricklands. Um, today we're making a tofu turkey breast just on time for Thanksgiving. So, doesn't that sound good? Very good. Very good. We've had it before. <laughs> so now we're putting it on a video. Okay, so we're going to start with tofu because it is a tofu turkey breast. This is high protein tofu. So it's different than um, firm or extra firm. You want to use high protein. And I got this at Whole Foods. I've seen high protein tofu also at Publix, I think. I've never looked for it anywhere else, but it's probably available at other stores too. But high protein tofu and it's firmer, kind of like, it's also known as super firm tofu. So we're gonna use super firm tofu. And it is also very high in protein. It actually has 14 grams of protein in one serving, which is really good. Um, five servings per container, so 14 times five. <laughs> 14 times five, you're the mascot. 70, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Okay, pretty close. Um, so that's a lot of protein in this container. So what we're gonna do is it comes in this plastic container, which I'm not thrilled about the plastic, but, and then there's not a lot of liquid in it. I did already drain maybe a tablespoon off and then we'll just wrap it up in just a kitchen towel really quickly just to get any extra liquid back out of it. But really there's not much liquid that's gonna come out of this compared to like firm and extra firm, which is gonna have lots of liquid come out of it when you squeeze it. I mean, I'm squeezing this, there's no liquid coming out. So I'm gonna tear it into big chunks and put it in the food processor. And then once that's all done, we will whirl that up just to get it into a smaller consistency. Why are you laughing at it? <laughs> Some pieces went flying out the hole. Oh, whoops. Okay, you can see that. Yeah, we it broke the lid. Much. Okay. Okay, and then we're adding some gluten flour. So if you have celiac disease, this is not something that you need to eat because it does contain gluten flour. Um, this kind of a, of a roast is called seitan. Um, it's a type of seitan. Oh. So, which, so is this the same thing we made the leftover sandwiches with? Yes. The leftover Thanksgiving dinner sandwiches. Exactly. Oh, cool. So, oh, some of that just spilled out over here. I may need to add an extra tablespoon. So I'm using this kind of gluten flour. It's Bob's Red Mill gluten, or Vital Wheat Gluten is another name for it. I got this at Whole Foods. Um, I have to put in a little sprinkle of it in there because I just spilled some on the counter. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, if you have celiac disease, do not try this recipe. But for the other 99% of people out there who can <laughs> eat gluten, it's, it's fine. Okay. So, gluten flour is basically um, where they take wheat flour and just wash it and wash it and wash it until it strips it of all the starch. And so um, it's basically like the protein you find in wheat. This is 70 to 80% protein. So this is a very high protein recipe. Um, so we're putting one cup of the vital wheat gluten. We have a half a cup of water. So I'm gonna dump that in. And as an optional ingredient, you could add a tablespoon or so of low sodium soy sauce or tamari. And this is optional. It'll give it a little bit darker color. And then a fourth cup of nutritional yeast. Put that in. And I'm using this kind, Anthony's Nutritional Yeast Flakes, which um, I think we got on Amazon, but it's just really, we use a lot of nutritional yeast, so I get these really big bags. All right, and two tablespoons of either 
a neutral flavored oil, which we do not use a lot of oil, um, but in something like this, it's, um, it does help the texture a little bit. You could also use two tablespoons of water or aquafaba, which is the liquid that comes from cooking beans, particularly um, chickpeas or garbanzo beans. That's usually what they're talking about when you read um, aquafaba is chickpea liquid. So. Does the oil help it stick together? Yeah, a little bit. It does? A little bit, but it also has more of a mouthfeel okay. that's going to come out more like what you're used to with turkey. Sounds good. Um, okay, and then two tablespoons of tapioca flour or tapioca starch or cornstarch, same thing. I mean, tapioca flour and tapioca starch are the same thing, and obviously we use a lot of that too <laughs> because this is a really big bag of it. Um, so we use that in glop cheese. We do, what, what you're this, right. What does this, it do this helps hold it all together because okay. um, tapioca gives it... Um, kind of that quality of, not really stretchiness, because meat doesn't really have a stretchiness, but it does a have little. A, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it'll, it'll okay. have a, it'll help with the mouthfeel. So, there's still some left in there. Okay, and then, um, so I put the tapioca starch, you could also use corn starch, and then we have two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and a teaspoon and a half of poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning does not have any poultry in it. It is just seasoning. <laughs> so do not let that freak you out, being that this is totally plant-based, um, that, yeah, this, there's no poultry in poultry seasoning. So it's mostly sage and rosemary and thyme, stuff like that. So it's about a teaspoon and a half of that, and a teaspoon or so of liquid smoke which is going to give it a nice smoky flavor, like smoked turkey. And I do like that smoky flavor, so I'm actually also adding a few sprinkles of smoked paprika, mm, which smells so good. Okay, so smoked paprika. And then you could um, add a pinch of salt if you want to, but I don't think you're going to need to because of this next ingredient. So the next ingredient is better than bouillon, no chicken base. It's what we use to make things that taste like chicken broth. So, and we're putting a whole tablespoon of that in. So you're not going to need to add salt to this recipe, although you could add pepper if you want to hold that up. Um, this same brand, better than bouillon, also makes um, vegetable broth paste. Um, this one has been hard to find lately, but I did find it on Amazon, and now they have it at Whole Foods again. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And it is relatively high in sodium, but we're using one uh, tablespoon in this whole turkey breast. So it's, it's going to give it a nice um, sort of turkey or poultry flavor, but without adding any actual poultry. So it's <laughs> one tablespoon gets you about... Oh, I know. <laughs> a lot. Um, okay. 2,000 milligrams, right? Lord have mercy, that's a lot. But you're not eating the entire thing. At one time, you're just taking little slices of it. So one of these recipes, when it comes out, should make about, I would go with at least 12 to 15 servings. So it's, you know, it's going <laughs> to, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so unless you were on a super low sodium diet, why would somebody be on a low sodium diet? Like if they have high blood, blood pressure, pressure? Okay. kidney disease, okay. so, heart failure. Oh, well, that all sounds like really bad. Okay. Pedal edema. <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So we've put in the um, high protein tofu, the vital wheat gluten, the water, the nutritional yeast, a neutral flavored oil, or um, aquafaba or water, two tablespoons, um, tapioca starch, onion powder, garlic powder, poultry seasoning, the no chicken base, liquid smoke. I put in a few extra sprinkles of smoked paprika because I like it. And that's it. Okay, so then we're going to whirl it all up. <laughs> Hope nothing comes flying out the <laughs> crazy little hole here. Okay, there we go. Just put a hand over that. <laughs> there we go. Nope. 
So it's going to start coming together in just a second and form like a big glob. Okay. You do it with a metal blade. Yes. You're not trying to use some kneading blade. Right. Oh no, you don't want to use like the dough hook. You want to use the actual metal S blade of your food processor. Okay, let's get all the rest of that stuff out of here. Okay. So a half a cup of water is about the right amount to get this to stick together and you don't want to go too much more than that. I'm just going to knead it a little bit right here on this cutting board for about a minute. Whoa, put that where it doesn't fall on the floor. That would be good. So a seitan roast like this is also called wheat meat. <laughs> and the reason you want to use the really super firm tofu is because if you use the extra firm or the just firm, it's gonna come out like a loaf of bread. It's not gonna have the texture of turkey breast. It'll have the texture of a loaf of bread, which is not really what you want on a sandwich as the filling of your sandwich. <laughs> You'd rather have something that is more like sandwich meat than bread on your bread. So, Did you have the option of adding in spices if you wanted it to come off like a, a Greek meat, like gyro meat? Sure. Or you yeah, could do you that could do now, that. or, or um, you, do you would that? have done that in there. So, okay. but this is for Thanksgiving, so it's going to be, you know, it's more like poultry seasoning Thanksgiving kind of flavors that we put in it. So, ooh, pepper would be good too. I forgot about that. Could have added some pepper and do that, but we could add it on there. So, what we're going to do after we knead this for about a minute? Oh. <laughs> Still want it to kind of come together more like nice and thick like a dough. Okay. More like bread dough, I guess. Okay. You want to grab the pepper out of the cabinet? I don't think I have it out. All right, so I already have a piece of aluminum foil, very lightly sprayed with a cooking spray. I think it was um, avocado spray or olive oil, um, just very lightly sprayed. And the reason that I did that is because we don't want this to stick to the aluminum foil. We have to wrap it up in aluminum foil to, um, to bake it because it can't bake just open like this at first. Um, it'll get too dried out. Okay. So we have to wrap it up. And then to Pam keep would from, do the same thing, I guess. But I kind of like an organic um, sure. avocado spray or an organic olive oil. Okay. So since I've already sprayed it, go ahead and just sprinkle some pepper all over that oil. Okay. That's probably good. This is going to be a very peppery turkey. <laughs> <laughs> turkey in air quotes. Okay. So that is starting to have nice stickiness to it. So I'm going to form it into kind of an oblong turkey breast shape. <laughs> From what I recall a turkey breast looks like, which has been very, very long time since I've had an actual turkey breast, but... Well, you saw um, that video where they took a loaf of bread and... Oh, um, that's right, and made it into a sourdough, yeah, and made it into made a turkey, it like, like a whole turkey. Drumsticks that was hilarious. Yes, exactly. You could do that, couldn't you? 
now. Uh, no, okay. I'm not going to do that with this because I have to wrap it up. If so any of you do it, please see it. Yeah, I want to send us a picture, please. <laughs> yeah, that's been a really interesting video that I've seen on social media lately. Of yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, so you this the is name of it? no, but I'll find it. I think I sent it to somebody. Somebody sent it to me too, so we'll, I'll, I'll be able to find it. Okay, so also sprinkled on the aluminum foil, I'm going to put more of this poultry seasoning. go and a little bit more of the smoked paprika oh it smells so good I love smoked paprika okay so there's a lot of seasoning on the aluminum foil and I did that for a reason all right so let's take this out of the way and hand you that and put the aluminum foil right here so you can see what we're doing all right so this is a sheet of aluminum foil that's about three times bigger than the turkey breast and then I'm going to roll it around on that to get it nice and coated with all that seasoning. There we go. I can probably put a little more on there too. Why not? <laughs> Is there enough oil under it? I hope so. I think so. It should be fine. Okay. There we go. So it's nice and look how pretty. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Okay. So we'll wrap that up. And then I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. The oven is already hot and at 30 minutes we'll open it back up and let it cook for 30 more minutes without, um, without the covering on it. So, okay, so that can go in the oven, 30 minutes. And we'll check back in 30 minutes. Okay. All right. So it's been 30 minutes. And what we're going to do is just open this up. Let's take a look and see how it looks. Get that open. Closed it up too well. Okay, there we go. Ah! Ripping the aluminum foil. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. So what we're going to do is just leave it open now and put it back in for 30 more minutes. So Perfect. And then it'll be done. So it's out of the oven again. It's out of the oven after 30 minutes of being roasted without any covering on it. So, And now we will see that it is less jiggly and very firm, which is what we wanted. Oh. So, yeah. And it smells really good. Yeah. It's not firm yeah. like a crusty bread. No. It's firm like a turkey breast. <laughs> so, it's supposed to be a tofu turkey breast. So, all right. So, what we're going to do is let this sit here and cool for a while. And once it's room temperature cool, then we'll wrap it back up in the aluminum foil and put it in the refrigerator overnight and check on it again tomorrow. Cooling for a while is what, 30 minutes? Yeah, maybe, or less. It won't take long, because it's kind of cold in here, since it's cold out there, so <laughs> it's, it's cold. So this will not take long for it to cool down, and once it cools down to room temperature, we'll just seal it all the way back up, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then tomorrow it'll be ready to slice. And if we sliced it now, what would happen? Um. You know, I think it would probably fall apart, kind of like when you bake a cake and then you take it out of the oven, you're not supposed to cut it right away because it just like falls apart. So I, I wouldn't want to risk it. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right. <laughs> so we want this to work. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. Okay. All right. We'll check on it tomorrow. Perfect. So it's the next day. It's the sure. next day. It is. <laughs> you know it yeah, is. It that really was last. Is. It really is the next day. Okay. And this is the tofu turkey breast that we did last night. I wrapped it up in aluminum foil, and it has been in the refrigerator since we cooked it yesterday. So I'm going to unwrap it and show you what this looks like. Ooh, how beautiful that is. So it's very... Um, Smells really good. Has a good mm -hmm. turkey-like smell to it, um, and I put a lot of seasoning on it so there's you can see 
kind of the reddish color from the smoked paprika, which is delicious. Okay, and then... And if you needed to put something on the center of a Thanksgiving table... It was, it was, sure, yeah. You could dress it up with roasted potatoes and carrots and things around it. That would be really good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have one that's already cut open. I'm going to hang on to this one and not cut it open since we have one that's already cut open and we've been eating it. Okay, so this is what the already cut open one looks like. Um, and we cut it usually on a mandolin. So this is a mandolin. It's very sharp right there, that little blade. So I have my hands very far away from the blade and I don't really want to touch that to the food. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Okay. We use this sometimes. It's sometimes. actually, what, a steel glove or something? It's like, um, yeah, it's like a steel, well, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it's kind of like, you know, when the knights in shining armor wore chain mail. <laughs> it's yeah, like a, chain mail a glove. chain mail glove is what it seems like. But anyway, all right. So the way I slice this up is with a mandolin and my hands are not close to the blade. So I'm not going to put that crazy glove on. Um, and you just run it across here, shave off pieces of it. And they come out looking like deli slices. So, like sliced turkey. And it's perfect for a sandwich. Look at that. So, I'll slice up a little bit more because I have to make you a sandwich for lunch tomorrow anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> slice it up. There we go. And when I was eating meat, I always thought an Arby's sandwich actually tasted pretty good. I, it had its own unique thing going on. And this lets you do the same thing with seitan with an imitation meat. Right. So, yeah, you can just pile it on a sandwich, and it's actually high in protein. It doesn't have cholesterol or saturated fat, so it's, you know, it's really pretty good for you. And it actually smells a lot like, you know, roast turkey. Yeah, it really does. And it tastes a lot like roast turkey, too. That's the best part, so it's delicious. Mm-hmm. It tastes like, but I remember roast turkey. It's been a long time since I've had <laughs> actual turkey, but, you know. <laughs> it's pretty close. The turkey, so. a lot of the time, wouldn't cut up as thin. Not, not this oh, true. easily. Yeah, this cuts up nice and thin. So, yeah. So, give it a try. So we're wearing the same thing as yesterday. It's like, Why'd we I'm do Mario that? and you're Luigi. <laughs> same clothes every day. I can't be Princess Peach. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a princess. I'd be Princess Peach. So... <laughs> We sound like nerds who play video games a lot. Speak for yourself. Okay. Anyway, so if you give it a try, leave us some questions. If you have any questions about it, um, hopefully it was pretty explanatory when you watch the video. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please click at the top for videos that we have found to be very important. Click at the bottom right to see one of our featured videos. Subscribe to our channel by clicking our icon at the center of the screen. And turn on notifications so that you can get our videos when the fruits and vegetables featured in that video are in season and at their best. See you next time.